it's time for Women of Wrestling Wednesday. I want to talk about some of the a past, present, and a future diva. And this segment, in the first segment, I want to talk about uh, Trish Stratus, one of the most, one of the all-time great divas of wrestling. Well, uh, women wrestlers, uh, Trish Stratus. Uh, seven time Divas Champion, a legend in his business, and an all time all Hall of Famer on top of it. Uh, she's, uh, according to her Facebook, she's seven months pregnant with a uh, child right now. Uh, congratulations to her. Plus, uh, the, uh, She's in the middle of Stratus Field Yoga. Uh, she's the owner of Stratus Field Yoga in Canada. Somehow, uh, all the best in the world to her and that for me. This is just to let people know that don't know how great women's wrestling can be. Uh, I just want to get some, let, uh, get some education out there to the people that uh, want to know and don't that women's wrestling can be just as good as the guys. Go back and look at uh, Trish Stratus versus Lita. I believe they were the only two females ever to main event a Monday Night War in a cage uh, where Lita thought damn near broke her neck. Uh, no, it wasn't a cage, but it was a women's title match where uh, Lita drove out of the wing and nearly, uh, uh, broke herself in half. But, uh, a great match. Look it up. Trish, Trish Stratus versus, uh, Mickey James. Another, at WrestleMania. Another great match. Uh, but now, the present diva I want to talk about. That everyone, the diva everyone, uh, talks about. These days, the current reigning Divas Champion, uh, AJ Lee. A lot of people don't understand her. A lot of people just think she's some psycho uh, <coughs> bitch that uh, doesn't deserve to be what she is. Unlike most of you, I, most of those people, I know where she came from. She's trained hard to get into the WWE. She's been and numerous smaller organizations before getting in the WWE. She hasn't been in TNA or anything like that, but she's been in very small companies, mostly just uh, all women companies, I believe, uh, which don't get enough praise from the IWC and the YWC, the all-female brands. They don't get the respect they deserve. But, uh, she's very accomplished. Very good on the mic. Very good. Wrestler. Even though the WWE doesn't really show everything she can do. Uh, uh, plus, no one else can pull that character off the way she did. I know Mickey James tried to when she was in WWE, but. Nobody hits it out of the park the way AJ does. Uh, but, uh, now on to the future divas. Uh, uh, everyone has, says the same thing about this diva they say about, uh, AJ when it comes to in wing. Well, not in wing, but everyone praises her for her in wing ability. Everyone and she's just in love with the fact that she's under contract with WWE. I'm talking about Paige, NXT. Uh, Very accomplished. I've watched, I've seen a lot of her good, her matches in NXT. And I'm just blown away what she's been able to do. Uh, William Regal, who's the uh, commentator on NXT. Uh, has dubbed her the Enchanting Raven Hill Beauty, which I can't, uh, dis- uh, I can't dispute that. But, um, she's, uh, 
got a lot of charisma, a lot of a lot of athletic ability, and she connected with the audience in NXT, which I believe she can do when she comes to WWE to wall of SmackDown. <coughs> but uh, that's the first. This has been the first. Uh, I guess episode of women with Wednesday women wrestling. I'll try to do more each week, but uh, I'll try to do another video like this each week. Let me know who you think is uh, the really impressive dude right now. Who you were a fan of when they were around? If there was anyone in the past you were a fan of. Or anywhere in the feet in the present that you're currently a fan of. But I'll talk more about the Divas next Wednesday. Uh, subscribe, comment, uh, do what you do, and I'm out.